that? Don't you want to be? Don't you want to be powerful? Don't you want to be able to lay it down in the bedroom and then have your woman looking at you like, damn boy, you ain't going no motherfucking where because you just put it down. You know what I'm saying? When you constantly fapping, you ain't gonna have your, your, your meat ain't gonna have that type of power to go crazy. You see what I'm saying? Now, before we even get into the video, make sure you like the video down below. It helps the channel get in the algorithm and more people see our content. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you will never miss out on any of my uploads. So um, today's video is a very personal video, right? Because I told y'all my story on being addicted to the pee. I can't say the whole word because y'all know how YouTube be yellow marking and different things like that. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I told y'all my story of my addiction. I've been addicted to the pee. Uh, well, not necessarily the pee, but masturbation and fapping for for years, man. I started when I was like 15, 14 years old, and um, it just carried on to my adult life, and it really destroyed me as a man. I'm not going to lie. It made me very, very weak. It made me just lose a lot of my confidence. There's a lot of things that happen when you do this, man. It make you weaker and weaker and weaker as a man. There's people all around the world that's going through this. You know, A lot of guys don't talk about it, though, because they feel shameful. They feel bad. They feel like people are going to look at them different or whatever the case is. But this is a real problem. This is a real demon that a lot of guys struggle with, man. The first thing on my list of the reasons to stop fapping and watching the pee forever is loss of motivation and drive. This is one of the things that happened to me. We use it as a void, you know what I mean? Like most guys don't just watch the pee and, and fap for no reason. They do it because it's something inside of them that they're struggling with. You know what I'm saying? It's something inside of them that they're struggling with. They might have a lack of love in their life. They might feel lonely. They might feel depressed. They might feel bored. So they go ahead and they put on a video and they get the fapping. You see what I'm saying? And it's, it's almost like a drug. It's almost like a defense mechanism to feel something. You know, but when you're done, you feel shameful. You feel depressed. You feel like, damn, I really just did that. You know what I mean? It's not one guy that I know that's proud of fapping and watching the pee. Like, we not proud to do this shit. You see what I'm saying? Like when I was, all my years of doing this, I wasn't proud of doing it. I didn't do it because I really genuinely wanted to do it. I did it because I wanted to run away from something that was bothering me. You see what I'm saying? It's just like when people run away from their problems, so they drink and they smoke. That's the same thing when it comes to fapping and watching pee. You see what I'm saying? But when you when you constantly do this, you lose motivation and you lose the drive to get up and, and go hard in life, bro. And when you get to being an adult, this is something that you have to stop doing because as an adult, you have no time to be sitting around doing this. It's embarrassing. Um, when you get a woman, your woman is gonna look at you different because it's like, why are you a grown man fapping? You see what I'm saying? Some guys look at it like it's not a problem, but me personally, I feel like it's a problem. Um, so that's number one. You lose motivation and you lose your drive. You may notice the more you do this, the more you're going to be unmotivated because you're wasting your sexual energy. And with that energy, you're supposed to use it to your advantage. You're supposed to use that sexual energy that's building up inside of you to, to chase your dreams, chase your, your goals. And one of the things that I tell guys all the time is the, the biggest problem about this is the fact that society is promoting this. Society promotes adultery for a reason. It's a reason why us guys are weak. It's a reason why it's a reason why us guys are weak. It's a reason why us guys are addicted to this. That's because the higher reps and the people that run this shit, and y'all know what I'm talking about, they promote it and put it in our face every day because they want us to be in a box. They want us to be trapped in a box. They don't want us to be free thinkers. They want us to be the weakest. They want us to be the weakest version of ourselves as possible. Because as long as we weak, we easily controlled. As long as we addicted to OnlyFans and all these subscriptions and watching the pee and fapping, we are easily controlled, man. This shit clogs your brain and it makes you a weak ass man. This is why you see a lot of these guys around the world just weak and thirsty for women. Because they, this is what they promoting. You see what I'm saying? The next thing on my list are the reasons to stop watching the pee forever. Number two is depression and shame. The more you do this, you're going to, the more you do this, the more depressed you're going to be. Um, like I said, I've been addicted to this for years and I always thought that this would cure my depression a little bit or make me feel a little something, but it just threw me deeper in a hole, man. Like you're going to be depressed as shit and you always going to feel shameful. Like a lot of you guys can vouch for me, man. Like when you release, you always going to sit there and be shameful. Like you're going to be like, damn, I really just did that. You see what I'm saying? Like I really just sat there and just beat my shit and now I'm sitting here looking dumb as hell. You know what I mean? Like, bruh, I'm telling y'all, man, like, this is a real demon that we gotta fight, and we all in this together. It's not like I'm just perfect, and I, I just mastered this shit. Like, this is something that I'm still mastering to this day. You feel what I'm saying? But I can honestly say that I got a lot better than I did in the past. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm prioritizing my life now, and the areas, and all my flaws, and stuff like that that I need to work on, I'm working on it now. So that's all that really matters. 
Um, the third thing on my list of the reasons to stop watching the P and Fapping Forever is you develop social anxiety. Um, I've been doing this shit for so long to the point where like when I was younger, I remember like just canceling plans. I didn't want to go outside. I didn't want to do certain things because I wanted to sit home and fat. You see what I'm saying? Like, and this is real shit. Like, I don't have any shame in my game. I'm always put it out there and let y'all know what it is. But this is something that I, I was really dealing with. You really develop social anxiety when you when you do this often. When you watch the pee often, you develop social anxiety. You don't want to go out there and talk to girls. You don't want to go out there and, and it be girls at your school that be liking you, want to talk to you, and you just got this weird aura, this weird energy. You feel, like, overwhelmed. Like, you shouldn't feel like that as a man, bro. We shouldn't be scared to go out and talk to the girl we want to talk to. You're supposed to have confidence. You're supposed to carry yourself like a man. You're supposed to carry yourself and, and always be... Men are supposed to lead. You know what I mean? And it's like when you got social anxiety, bro, it'll block you from a lot of things that you really want to do. You know what I mean? Like you miss out on a lot of great women because a lot of women ain't going to talk to you first. You know what I'm saying? They be waiting for the guy to come. And it's like when you don't go, then they just going to move on to the next one. You see what I'm saying? So social anxiety is definitely one of those things you're going to develop watching the pee and being addicted to fapping. Number four, decrease quality of relationships. Bro, this is one of them things. I'm glad I put this on the list because this is something I dealt with my whole entire time being addicted to this shit, bro. I done lost a lot of great relationships being addicted to the P and fapping, okay? It's a lot of great women that I met in my life. Um, I remember like two years ago, I met this woman, right? Great woman, you know what I mean? Um, she was a great woman. She always supported me. She always uplifted me. She always made sure I was good. Um, she all she wanted was the best for me. You know what I'm saying? All she wanted to do was help me, man. And I uh, I lost her because I was I was addicted to fapping. I was addicted to porn and shit like that. And you know when you got a woman, this is stuff. This is stuff that you shouldn't. I feel like if you still got this as a problem in your life, you shouldn't be dating. You shouldn't date or anything like that, man. Because like, what woman would want they guy watching content like that to get their rocks off? You see what I'm saying? Like it's just. That's just not what it is, bro. It, it, and, and that's how I lost her, man. I lost a lot of great women uh, being addicted to this. And when you retain your sexual energy and you got a woman, bro, she gonna love you a lot more. You gonna start doing things that you normally don't do. You gonna start being sweeter. You gonna start being a, a more authentic man. But when you got stuff like this as a problem in your life, bro, you lose the quality of the relationship. A woman gonna look at you different. And it's just not gonna be dope, bro. So. That's number four on my list. I'm glad I added that, man. The quality of relationships is going to decrease. And you're not going to look at your woman as a prize. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're going to always look at your woman as, like, an object. And that's one of the things that... Another thing that happens when you watch pee a lot and you fap a lot. You don't look as women as human beings. You look at them as objects. You know what I'm saying? You just look at them. And then when you when you go ahead and go crazy, you don't even care anymore. You know what I mean? The whole time, that's a whole human being with feelings. You see what I'm saying? Like, and I didn't realize this until I got older. Like, all my life, I was just crashing girls and just trying to have sex with as many girls as possible. And I always looked at women as objects, man. But now that I'm getting older, like, I want to I wanna really pick people's minds and get to know people and different things like that. So, that's number four on my list. Um, the next thing on my list are the reasons to stop watching P and fapping forever. Number five is sexual dysfunction, okay? I know a lot of you guys deal with erectile dysfunction. I've dealt with erectile dysfunction in my lifetime before, and it's not fun, okay? It's embarrassing. Um, it's going to make you feel like shit, and it's going to put you in another state of depression, especially if you're having sex with a woman or you got a girlfriend. Bro, that is the worst feeling, not being able to get up when you in bed with your woman, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it makes you feel very bad. It makes you feel upset. And it, it, it stresses you out, dog. But when you constantly fap, when you constantly watch this type of content, you are you are damaging your sexual health. you damaging yourself every time you do it, bro. you sitting here going crazy. Like, no, man. You, you're not supposed to, like... Uh, man, it, it, it's, it's sad, but this is a real problem that we as guys just have to fix in our life man like we not perfect i understand that but at the same time we gotta at least try to get rid of this shit okay we gotta at least, like take this energy whatever you feeling like this go to the gym like record music make videos whatever but don't do this <laughs> don't do this because it will drive you to a whole nother level and you don't want that bro but sexual dysfunction is one of the things you will get if you constantly doing this shit, bro. You may notice that you, um, another thing too that a lot of guys deal with that I feel like I dealt with before in my lifetime is what's called Peyronie's disease. And basically what it is, is a, a blockage of blood flow 
um, and it stops you from getting erections. So that's another thing that happens when you constantly fapping. So number six is it destroys your self confidence, man. Um, it really destroys your confidence, bro. Um, I, I I remember when I first started doing this and I really got addicted to it, man. Like I I, I hated my life, bro. I really did, man. I hated my life. I hated how I looked. I hated the fact that I was doing this. Um, and it be feeling like you can't stop it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's really like it's really like being addicted to like a cigarette or like heroin or some shit. Like you really feel like you can't stop this shit. Like all the guys that's like truly addicted or been addicted to this really knows how this shit is. Like it really destroys your self confidence to the point where you really gonna feel very bad about yourself. You're gonna feel very bad about yourself every time you do it. You're gonna feel bad about yourself just every day. You're gonna feel like you're not good enough to talk to women. Um, you know, you're just gonna feel very bad and shameful about yourself, bro. You really are. And um, that's just what th this stuff does, man. And, and this is the reason why, like I said, this is the reason why they promote this stuff. This is the reason why adultery is literally everywhere. You know what I'm saying? This is the reason why women are creating OnlyFans and they put this stuff in front of our face for a reason, man, because it really comes with very bad side effects and it's not a good feeling, bro. It's not. But the moment you overcome this, the moment that you finally take, you know, um, take accountability and you, 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 uh, get strong enough to, to kick this shit and really like overcome it, bro, you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel good about yourself. Like even me practicing semen retention and going on certain days and getting the streak, like that shit feels good. It feels good. Like just the first week of you just being on semen retention and practicing no fat feels amazing. So just imagine how you're going to feel when you finally overcome it. And finally get to that next level, bro. You're going you gonna to get all the women that you always wanted. Because it's real benefits that come with this. Like, it's not just no shit that people do. Like, when you do this stuff, it's real benefits that come with it. You're going to start getting way more woman attraction. And then your, your, the quality of women you're going to be getting is going to be a lot different. You might be getting a lot of bust downs. A lot of hoes that look ugly as hell. You know what I mean? You might be getting some regular degulars. You feel me? But the moment you practice this and go on a certain streak. And you, you start pitting that energy into your goals. Your job. Like... You start getting that drive again to do better in life, bro. Woman is going to be on you, bro, because they sense that. You know what I'm saying? They sense that shit on you, bro. And you're just going to feel better overall. You're going to wake up happier. Your, your brain is going to be a lot clearer. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, bro. Skin going to be gone. You're going to feel amazing, dog. I remember when I first started, I did it like two, three times. And uh, it went from doing it once a day to multiple times a day. It went from, it went from doing it three times a day to five times a day. Like... It leads to a real addiction, bro. And once you get older and you start doing it for years, it becomes a serious problem. Because once you, like I told you, once you get in your 20s, once you get in your 30s, this guy's in their 20s, 30s, even 40s that's still addicted to this, bro. Like, just imagine how they feel. Imagine being a 40-year-old man, 30-year-old man, being addicted to goddamn adultery videos. Like, just, just imagine, I can't even fathom that. I'm 21 and I'll I be feeling like shit. But just imagine being in your 30s with a family and all this stuff. And this is what you addicted to. Like, it, it sucks, man. It really does. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. But one of the things that I want to tell you guys is it's possible. It's possible to beat this shit. You just have to put forth the effort. Like, you just have to put forth the effort and do what you need to do. You know, um, find God. You know, I feel like that's one of the things that's missing in our society is... A lot of people don't 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 have a connection with God. You know, we so far away from God that, you know, a lot of a lot of different things is happening, man. But we gotta find God. We gotta find God. We gotta start tapping into God. We gotta start praying. You know, different things like that. Just getting back on that spiritual journey and figuring out who you are. You're never gonna figure out who you are. You're never gonna tap into your true potential until you leave the liabilities behind. You know what I mean? Like in order to grow, you gotta let go. In order to get to the next level, you got to let go of things that's not serving you a positive purpose. And fapping and watching the pee is not serving any guy any type of positive purpose. It's destroying you. It's making you less confident. It's stressing you out. It's keeping you away from good girls. Um, you're going to meet girls and you're not going to be able to keep those girls. You're going to have sexual dysfunction. You ain't going to be able to get up in bed. Like different things like that. Don't you want to be Don't you want to be powerful? Don't you want to be able to lay it down in the bedroom and then have your woman looking at you like, damn boy, you ain't going no motherfucking where because you just put it down. You know what I'm saying? When you constantly fapping, you ain't going to have, your, your, your meat ain't going to have that type of power to go crazy. You see what I'm saying? Comment down below if this video helped you at any point of time. Comment down below some other tips to help guys uh, keep going on a fapping streak and they know uh, they, they semen retention streak. Um, comment down below what days y'all on, man, if y'all are on the journey. 
If you're not on a journey, if you re if you relapse recently, it's okay. Get back on your feet and let's keep going, man. We got this. We're going to stay strong and we're going to keep winning. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm out, man.